Well, you know, what I remember about him is uh, when I'd flub my lines, he would always say, you fumble. <laughs> Give me an okay. Okay. Got it. And he, he, made a, he made a deal if he could get the jersey. So I said, yeah, I'll see if I can talk to our uh, equipment manager, uh, a manager, Tony Parisi. So he was, really, he was somewhat of a stickler about our uh, equipment. So I had to get, uh, get Tony's okay to, to give him the jersey. The first time I saw the commercial was on television. I saw the finished product uh, uh, doing a, during a um, uh, Major League Baseball playoff game, I think. Walking into the locker room the day after I had, well, I, it was that night when I saw it. The next morning when I went to, uh, went to work, guys came over and took me in. You know, and they gave me a hand, and, and they said, good job. Oh, yeah, it was amazing that the, how, how it just turned around. You know, I, I could see people uh, uh, look at me prior to the commercial, and, you know, they might want to come up and approach me, but, you know, they kind of fade away. Uh, but after the, the commercial, uh, they would all... Come up and want my coat? Want my coat? I guess being football players, you know, and they always talked about having the helmet on that people can't see you, they don't know what you look like, and um, taking that helmet off with the, with the commercial and uh, being nice to the kid and the kid being nice to me, I guess they said, okay, I can, I can talk to Joe. He's all right. He's not going to hurt me. I never was a mean guy. I just had to, I, I had a, I developed the look. You know, don't you do that. And uh, with a few antics here and there, it, uh, it started to gain some traction. So I didn't, I didn't have to be mean. Just had to look. <laughs> look mean. I would have been hard pressed to, to, to count the people that knew me from the commercial from those that knew me as a football player. No, it was just more, you know, standing around uh, and, and, you know, more of uh, the things that I was, was afraid of acting. And, I, you know, I, after a while, you know, I just say, well, you know, don't try to be an actor because you're not. Be the way you really are. And that, that helped me get through that. I was told that uh, uh, they, they liked uh, uh, Roger Staubach, uh, too tall, and also... Uh, Tony Dorsett. Tony Dorsett's name was in there. And I think there was a couple of, Lambert was in there, and uh, Joe Green. It came down to uh, 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 Lambert and myself. But if it was Lambert, see, Lambert didn't have any teeth, see, he, he wouldn't look good on TV. I got offered an awful lot of Cokes, an awful lot of Cokes. But it's uh, the amazing thing about it is that um, is that we're sitting here today talking about it after 30 years, and that continues to be the most amazing thing about it.